and hello once again so we will uh, discuss the problems now on uh, on transmission lines on performance of transmission lines but we will first go to the basic which is short lines okay before we do that if you want to know know the copy of the uh, the, uh, of the problems uh, there is a description link okay on the uh, on the video that you can download and then from there you can see the problems the supplementary problems that you can master you know for for practice purposes okay let us uh, solve problem number one so this is the problem a, a single piece overhead transmission line delivers a 1000 kilowatt at 33 kilovolt at 0.8 power factor lagging the total resistance and inductive uh, reactance of this line is 10 and 15 ohms respectively now determine the power factor plus the transmission efficiency of the problem okay now this is the solution but we will explain it comprehensively so that you can know how it is being done okay first you need to know the given no the given here is a 1100 uh, kilowatt okay uh, receiving power and you have the voltage at the receiving end as 33 kV and the power at the power factor rather at the receiving end as 0.8 lagging. Now we also have the transmission line parameters which is your R and XL respectively which has a 10 plus J15. Now the problem is a single phase two wire system which means that we do not need to divide by square root of 3 whatever the uh, value of your r here is in total you do not need to multiply it by two total we assume it total and then no there's no square root of three no on the on the, on the answers for the current okay so thus in this case well we do a little bit of uh, circuits too and this is 1100k and then we can solve for the magnitude of the current Okay, getting the magnitude of the current, this is based from the equation of the power is equal to V times I times cosine angle theta. So for that, cosine angle theta is obviously your power factor, which is in the receiving end. And this is your PR, VR, IR. Okay, so in this case, we need to get PR, uh, the current here, the magnitude of the current. And please take note, that the current here, you no, know, in a short line, the total current is equal to IR. And also, this is also the same thing with the current at the sending end. They are the same, simply because they are connected in series. Hence, your current is 1100K all over 33K times 0.8. And then, we can cancel K. And we can have 41.667 or 41.67 in two decimal places. Now we need to get the vector. No? So the vector here is 41.6667. And then this is the bar angle theta i, no? which is 36.87 negative, which is based on a 0.8 power factor lagging. Now the question is, okay, this is a negative value and it is from the power factor at the receiving end. So this is in lagging condition. The lagging means no, you have a minus for the current and leading for a positive, okay, or leading condition for a positive uh, angle no, of theta i. Now the question is, how come it becomes a negative 36.87 on the power factor at the receiving end? You can see here, no, based on our drawing, of the PPA, you can still recall the per pace analysis of your short line, your VRN here is bar zero. Which means we need to have a reference. We make use of the load at the receiving end as our reference. Now, if our VRN is bar zero, now, we already have this one no, on our um, uh, transmission line, no, uh, short line. If VRN is zero, 
Now, PFR is given and PR is given. There are always, uh, this is uh, always uh, given on the problem. And we know that theta from the power factor is theta V minus theta I. Please take note, if this is zero, if this is zero, okay, you have your theta here as negative theta I. Now, that theta I will depend, no? Okay, if that is lagging or leading, the sign of the angle of your theta I. Now, for this case, we use a lagging condition, so this is negative. Otherwise, it is a positive value if that is in leading condition. Lead minus means lag. And that's why when, when, rather, when we have the phasor of your current, okay, the bar angle theta now no, of that current, is negative 36.87. Negative means lagging. And positive means leading. And thus, we can now solve the problem with is Considering again, no, the uh, uh, this uh, per pace basis of your short line representation. So to get no, the uh, first requirement, the power factor at the receiving end, uh, sending end rather, these different things, okay? The power factor sending, uh, at the sending end is a different thing because you need to get the angle of the voltage and the angle of the current, obviously, from your eye, then get take the difference. You need to get first that alpha, that transmission line angle, as we have described on short lines. Now, to get VSN, it's very clear that you need to have your VRN vector IR, and that impedance ZL, which constitutes 2R plus JXL, no, of your transmission line. So for that, we have this equation, then substitute. We have 33K reference. There's no square root of 3 here because we have a single phase 2R. Although I uh, established VRN here. Plus 41.67, 2 decimal place bar, negative 36.87, and then 10 plus J15. Now, using our calculators, we have 33.709 kilovolt, but we need to have no, this answer here as your theta V at the sending end, which is your alpha. And alpha is your transmission angle. And if the transmission angle is less than 10 degrees, you're considering a short line as expected. Okay, now, since this is positive 0 0.429, and then your theta i is uh, negative 30.87, so it will become positive. Ah, rather, theta v is uh, 0 0.429. Okay, this is, uh, sorry, this interchange, sorry for this, sorry for this. So this is uh, 0 0.4249, then negative, negative 36.87. This is the same. Actually, but we need to elaborate it the, in this in this way. So 0 0.0429 positive, negative 36.7 minus minus, it will become, it will add. Okay? So having the cosine of that angle, okay, the answer is 0 0.7955. Now, the question is, what is the condition of the power factor? It will become lagging if you satisfy, Okay? This scenario here, if PFS is great, is less than, rather, this is less than, because 0.8 is your power factor at the receiving end. If the power factor at the sending end is less than the power factor at the receiving end, you consider this as a lagging condition, otherwise a leading condition. Now, I can teach you a more practical way. I uh, uh, use this method as my... Uh, electric ah. body diagram. So, what's the meaning of this? It's like a free body diagram on mechanics, but we will make use of the uh, phasors. Let's uh, move on. We have here the BRN bar zero. All of the angles that you can see here, whatever the angle uh, um, results, will be dependent on a certain reference, which is BRN. Now, even your angle alpha here is dependent on or with respect to the receiving end voltage. Now, using phasor techniques or phase sequences, you can go back to uh, what we have discussed so far on ballast polyphase. You have a positive 42 point. Okay, this is your VSN angle. 
So this is a uh, uh, alpha 0.4249, but this is positive. And we have 36.87, so we don't care about that. No, how many degrees from the reference? So this is your theta i. Okay, and this is your alpha or your theta v. The angle between no, the voltage and the current. Okay, this is a uh, uh, is now which is equal to i and then whatever the angle okay from bsn to to i that is your angle theta and it's very obvious that no by using phase sequence okay that your i will lags or your is will lags the voltage at the sending end by an angle theta which is the result of this value which is I think approximately 37 degrees and if there is lagging means the condition is a lagging power factor otherwise if that is IS leads no VS that is a leading power factor condition please take note okay here the uh, reference is VSN then IS the rotating phasor and look at the K R O sign, a clockwise rotation, which means lagging condition. So thus, we can uh, go forward to another problem, and we establish the basics for uh, short line conditions. Stay tuned. Hi. So let us conclude the uh, uh, problem number one. Okay, for uh, short lines so from letter a we discuss the basic fundamentals and then we dis uh, we uh, uh, describe how angles or the power factor angle uh, conditions can be met using phasor diagrams and then we use circuit analysis you know, in getting the voltage at the sending end now the next uh, required is what is the transmission efficiency so you can go back to uh, to uh, the uh, per pace analysis of uh, this problem and then we can now use the uh, your machines or your uh, basic equation for the input power the input power simply p out plus p losses since we are in a single phase two wire setup or two wire line okay so uh, the power losses is simply i squared r taking note that your resistance here is total which means it must be a loop resistance and thus, 1100K plus 41.67 is squared multiplied by 10. In terms of kilowatt, we have 1117.363 kilowatt. Now thus, recall no, your uh, efi uh, uh, efficiency or NT, transmission efficiency here, is P out all over P in. So your P out is 1100. You divide it by 1117.32 and then you multiply it by 100% to become a percent percentage. So it must be NT, by the way. Not output efficiency, but transmission efficiency. Now the transmission efficiency is 98.42%. A very, very high you know, transmission efficiency, which is uh, on a transmission line, you can have 90 to 98% in a range of short lines but anyway this is the final answer 98.43 percent so we can go forward to another set of problems hello once again so let us have another uh, problem on short lines uh, which is this problem is a former board problem let us read the problem first a load of 12 mba 0.8 power factor lagging 22 kV is served by a transmission line no, which has a line resistance of 3 ohms and a line reactance of 10 ohms. Solve for the sending end voltage of this transmission line. Well, on this problem, it's not mentioned whether the line is a three phase or a single phase. Now, this is the primary assumption. As you can see here, your transmission line is a 22 kV line, 22 k kilovolt line. This is a kilovolt. So it's a, it's already a common sense that 
we can assume that the line is a three-phase, three-wire line, considering it is a 22 kV line. So if that is 4.16 or even 13.8, we can consider it as a short line, a single phase, two wire. But here we can assume that it's a three-phase, three-wire. And our uh, given is already mentioned on the problem at 12 MVA, 22 kV. When you say 22 kV, it's a line-to-line -line voltage. So that's why you can see here there's no N. And your ZL is in terms of 3 plus J10 ohms in a per phase basis. Okay, for this, we can now go to the solution proper as we, as we have did done rather on problem one so your i phasor is 12 times 10 to the 6 all over square root 3 times 32 uh, or square root of 3 times 22k now as you can see here why there's no point 0.8 at the denominator side simply because the given is sr please take note your apparent power no is simply v times i now if that is three phase you need to consider square root of 3 there. So there's no power factor involved if the given is in terms of apparent power. But in terms of power here, or real power, P is real power, there's a power factor that is must be on the denominator, denominator side if you want to get current. So you can go to circuits too. We discuss the uh, complex powers there. So that's why in terms of S, there's no power factor in the denominator side, the power factor. There's no power factor. And then the angle, as usual, as we have mentioned on problem number one, a lagging condition, which is negative, and this theta i, or the angle of the current, which is uh, the power factor, is, uh, by the way, it's not mentioned here, at the receiving end is 0.8 lagging condition so cosine of negative 0.8 is 36.87 and thus your i phasor is 314.918 negative 36.87 amperes okay now based from our uh, main equation on short line using uh, circuits vsn vrn plus ir times zl considering again vrn as reference please take note this is vrn so don't forget to of the square root of 3 at the denominator side. And then plus 314.918 bar negative 36.7 times 3 plus J10. And we have this value here. 15,469.03 positive 7.25. And as we have mentioned, if alpha is less than 10 degree, we considered a short line approximate. And thus, the, our, our uh, needed or required is the sending end voltage at line-to-line -line basis. So multiply it by square root of 3, since we are in a per phase basis here. And thus, our Vs, line-to-line -line value, is 26.793 kilovolt. A very, very simple problem, okay, here, and which gives us an insight on a three-phase, three-wire system. Okay, we can go forward to another set of problems.